Now to the latest on the investigation into the fatal shooting on the set of the Alec Baldwin film Rust. ABC's Kaylee Hartung is live in Santa Fe, New Mexico with the new details we're learning this morning. Kaylee, good morning. Hey, good morning, Stephanie. There are so many questions that investigators are trying to answer. The who, what, why, and how. Ask anyone in the film industry and they will tell you this tragedy never should have happened. But last night here, the focus was on grieving the loss of Helena Hutchins' life. Overnight, the film community in New Mexico honoring the life and work of Helena Hutchins. Every day, everybody on the camera team was proud to be there for her because we were proud of what we were creating. The 42-year-old cinematographer killed on the set of the Western film Rust, remembered by her fellow crew member Lane Looper as a wonderful mother and wife and someone he felt lucky to work with. She's one of the most talented and kind, collaborative artists who did things that I could never ever think of. But that grief coupled with anger and shock. Her death shouldn't have happened. This sentiment echoed again and again as the film industry and investigators try to understand how a live weapon ended up in Alec Baldwin's hands on this movie set in Santa Fe and took Helena Hutchins' life. I think this was just a combination of really terrible errors uh, when it came to low budgets, bringing in inexperienced crew members, uh, moving fast, just this expectation that nothing was gonna go wrong when clearly everything ended up going wrong. An affidavit from investigators identifying Hannah Gutierrez Reed as the crew's armorer in charge of all prop weapons on set. On a podcast just six weeks ago, the 24 year old describing how nervous she was to take her first job as lead armorer on another film earlier this year. I think loading blanks was like the scariest thing to me because I was like, oh, I don't know anything about it. Being an armorer is a position that, in my opinion, requires experience. It's not an actor's job to be worried about the guns. One Russ crew member telling ABC News the issue of gun safety had been brought up by the camera crew and brushed off repeatedly by producers. In the past week, there were at least two accidental discharges of the prop gun on set, according to that crew member, who said a list of safety and other concerns prompted almost the entire camera department to walk off the set just hours before the shooting. But Helena Hutchins stayed. I would have been lucky to have ever done another movie with another person like that or with her and I'm, and I don't get to that <laughs> sucks and we reached out to Hannah Gutierrez Reed for comment and have not heard back. We are hearing, though, for the first time from the film's director, Joel Souza, who was injured in the shooting. He's saying in a statement, Helena was kind, vibrant, incredibly talented, fought for every inch and always pushed me to be better. He went on to say, I am humbled and grateful by the outpouring of affection we have received. It will surely aid in my recovery. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.